So right, next uh, next up, I'm going to show you the auto solder on. I'm just going to do one button, one speaker, um, and then the uh, header, and then that should round out the uh, front of the board. Like with all SMD stuff, um, like with the resistor I showed you before, um, it's easy to just tin one side, one pad, do that pad, solder uh, on, and then you can solder the other side because otherwise you're trying to heat both sides. So with the button. What you do is get it in position, hold it over the solder, your solder blob, heat it from the side, get it into position, give it a blow, let it cool, then check out your button if you're happy, it's a little bit ski with that, um, so I'll just re-hold, re-solder it, heat it, move it slightly, quick blow, that's a bit better, uh, and then what you do is tack it to the side then down the other side, a little bit of solder, and there you go, your button is tacked down, it's easy. Um, with that all you do, if, if you're doing the rest, just uh, put a blob of solder on um, just one side, uh, and then just, just rinse and repeat really. Uh, next up, same again with the speaker, just going to blob, blob a bit of solder on. If you're making this kit, uh, with this board, um, you can only put the left, uh, the right side speaker on because if you connect the left side speaker, um, you have all sorts of issues, which I'm hopefully going to remedy in a uh, future build. But if you are doing this board, um, again, just line it up, heat the solder, get it into roughly where you want it, let it cool, have a look if it is a little bit ski with, move it around. There you go, once you're happy with the positioning of it, you can just blob the solder on the other side. That's it, and then it's just secured in place. Jobs are good in. Uh, next up, we're going to do the um, do the header, which is quite, might be a bit tricky. With this, all you do is blob it down, one pin. Have a look at it if you like if you're happy with the angle if not um, what i do is hold it down flat hold put some pressure on the back heat the one pin up and then you should feel it um seat properly like that see it's got a proper 90 degree it's seated properly on the flat part and then you can just solder the rest of the pins and there you go the front is done this is technically a working uh Unit. If you had a power bank, you could go out into the world now and uh, play your Game Boy or whatever you want. But uh, yeah.